A man in Cumberland County is running nearly 150 miles to help fight multiple sclerosis. Fox 43's Tyler Hatfield joins us live in Hampton Township, Cumberland County with more on the journey and how it's helping to save lives. Good morning, Tyler. Good morning, Gabby, Alex. We're at Hampton Township Park where David Rem is training to run 148 miles and this run is to help fight multiple cirrhosis or MS and the cause is a personal one. I'm joined here with David Rem, the man himself who is running the 148 miles. And first of all, David, why are you doing this? Why are you putting yourself yeah, in this? Thanks, thanks for taking some time, Tyler. Um, so over 25 years ago, my mother was diagnosed with MS and um, it's a, it's a, um, immune disease that uh, impacts the ability of your brain to coordinate with the rest of your body. So everyone's symptoms are a little bit different, but for her, it was in weakness in one side um, and some numbness. And it's, it's very hard, obviously, over the course of time to watch someone you love slowly but surely lose their independence. So, you know, our family loves the same. Every, you know, we spend a lot of time together, but the way we spend that time is a little bit different now than it was, you know, 20 plus years ago. And now this run is a way to kind of give back and to kind of raise support for your mom. Yeah, sure. So um, I live two hours away. So the day to day care um, falls on my dad and my brother and his family. And so the thought is, how do you help from a distance? And so really this uh, this run is sort of the intersection of three things that I'm really passionate about um, my family. Uh, helping others and then the outlet um, is, is the running. So the MS Run the US program is a 21 person relay uh, that starts in Santa Monica, California and finishes in Manhattan. Uh, starts in a couple weeks, uh, ends in August and I'm lucky enough to be segment 20 runner covering 148 miles. Yes, like you said, in six days between Brookville PA and Sunbury PA. And right now we're in Hampton Township Park. I came out here to help run with you. How are you doing this type of training? Yeah, so it's still early on in the training process for me. So I'm capping out at 35, 40 mile weeks. At the peak of the training, it'll be you know 70 plus miles. Um, but yeah, as you look around, um, this is how a lot of the training happens, right? By yourself <laughs> in the dark, in the cold a little the bit, cold, right? Yes. Um, but uh, you know, although I'm out here on my own. Um, there's a lot of support that goes into that, right? So um, I have a wife, Elizabeth, and two children, Lucas and Lucy. And so when I'm out here doing this training, she's left to kind of manage, um, you know, the, fa the things that keep a family going. So, you know, although I'm here by myself, couldn't do be doing it um, on my own, that's for sure. And David, when you're doing this training, I mean, you said that one day you're gonna have to run over 20 miles in one day. Mm -hmm. You know, what are you thinking about as you're going through that, you know, that pain of running? Yeah, so in any long run or any physical challenge, uh, there's always a point of, you know, why am I doing this? Or man, this really sucks. <laughs> um, but it pales in comparison to living uh, your life with MS, right? Um, that's a challenge every single day for people just to do some very, very basic things, right? And so that helps motivate me through the challenging parts of the runs. And when you cross that finish line in August, all, after all that training, you know, what do you want to say to your mom? I know she's going to be there. Um, you know, I think uh, although I'm 43 years old, you still uh, have the desire to please your parents and make them proud of you. So, you know, I hope that she's just uh, proud of the work that I'm doing to help her and others uh, that are suffering with this terrible disease and uh, in bringing awareness and raising funds to uh, to support the cause. So really just a hug and uh, I'm proud of you and, and that'll suffice for me. <laughs> All right, so it is cold right now and I know you're not running today. Today's a rest day, but Correct. tomorrow yeah. it might feel a little bit similar. So what are some ways you kind of stretch to get before yeah so typically i carry a lot of tightness in my calves and achilles so just grabbing your toe grabbing and straightening the back of your leg you can feel it pulling in the back of your leg um, that's typically one that uh that that i that i do pretty frequently um, even when i'm not running just to kind of keep that loose um, but really on these long runs, you kind of warm up as you go a little bit. So there isn't a whole lot of stretching at the beginning. You just kind of start slow and build into it. All right, David, well, thank you so much for coming out here this morning. And if you want more information, there is a link to his fundraising page. Now he is, the minimum is 15,000. Yeah, right? so the goal is $15,000 within the next couple of weeks. And then by the time I run, I'd like to get to 25. So hmm. I definitely, you know, I need, I need help in getting there, both in individual contributions and organizations to partner with on other fundraising events. Yeah, so you can go to that fundraising page on our website, fox43.com. You can also to learn more about MS Run the US on our website at fox43.com. But for now, live in Hamden Township, I'm Tyler Hatfield, Fox 43 News.